And once again, Crampy, we find ourselves dragging ourselves through the snow, scratched up and beat up from having gotten into more fights along the borders of the territories with Forest Colony. And I, I need your help to be feeling better, Crampy. Ah, <sighs> greetings, Creek. I am experimenting with cooking today. I made a bowl of soup. It has 10 ingredients, birds, leeches, rocks, planks of wood, bird, bird, and mud, and bird. It tastes awful. I'm glad I'm a much better doctor than a cook. What can I do for you? <laughs> All right, guys. So welcome back to Creek's Legends here in the beta version of Cattails. And we are actually healing Creek up and spending more of our oh so precious Mews. Oh, it's so hard to get Mews in the winter and we have to part with even more of them because Creek got completely beat up in another fight with Forest Colony. I think it was definitely worth it. I think we had to run and flee for our lives uh, during the last fight, but we have been trying to go ahead and figure out a way that we can gain control of all of the beach territory and I know that would be something that would make Creek very very happy and that would definitely make Alyssa very happy too because then we could bring our colony leader quite a few seashells in fact I think yes look at that so many scallops in our pockets or wherever it is that cat is keeping all of these items and we are able to bring them back to her she really loves the seashells, she really loves the sea, and we're really enjoying kind of building up a deeper relationship with Alyssa, especially related about the water and maybe some of those mysteries of the swimming cats. I'm really hoping to impress Alyssa we'll be able to completely upgrade our swimming skill at some point. I'm hoping we can do that before the end of winter because I think that would be really fun, but I actually think we need to start improving our hunting skill instead so that we can become a better hunter. We need to keep Poor Creek's little belly full and we need to get our hands on more Muse. Oh no, we've lost control. Savannah, watch out. Oh, that's so cute. I love it when it looks like she just slides across the ice and crashes into all of the other cats. But we have just crashed into Savannah and we do want to actually start getting our hunting skill up also so that we can sell things for quite a bit more. Look at that, that rabbit is worth four mews, but the scallops that we can collect are only worth two. Uh, the marigold is worth four. Golden seal and valerian are worth two and three respectively. Winter berries are worth two. So it would be definitely worth it to collect up marigolds and sell them, but they don't grow during this time of year. We could grow them in the garden expansion of our den, working with that wonderful mole to expand our den, but unfortunately we need muse to do that and we keep ending up using up all of our muse trying to heal ourselves. Turning away from the territory battles just is not an option anymore for Creek. So even though I want to really work on the swimming skill, I think we will actually have to focus on trying to build up her hunting skill because that's probably the easiest way for us to make muse at this point. And the higher up we get our hunting skill, the more prey we can catch and the more we can try to go into the mines in search of all of those mysterious shiny things that Creek has heard so many rumors about from both Savannah and Alyssa. So, all right. Nothing to sell to you right now, Savannah. Let's come down and talk to Alyssa. Creek, it's good to see you. There's a calm tranquility to be found in winter. Gazing upon the falling flakes of snow, I cannot help but think of my warm den. That's actually really beautiful. She's quite poetic. All right, let's go ahead and give her a scallop. Oh my, how did you know I love this? Thank you, Creek. Wonderful, and we don't need to mention the fact we got completely beat up by all of the cats uh, from Forest Colony at the beach uh, whatsoever. We just, we don't, we, she doesn't need to know that. All right, and I guess I need to keep this golden seal. <sighs> we probably need to keep all of these plants because we have heard rumors that the mole needs more than just one of the plants that we happen to have. So let's go ahead and sort our plants for the night. We had a big day already because we got beat up last time. We'll go ahead and put the scallops in a nice little scallop pile. I really like watching Creek go ahead and organize everything. Okay, we'll drop it right over here. And then let's see, we have some winter berries. We have not yet added winter berries to this mysterious collection of the various plants that grow along the colony territories. Something that Creek definitely wants to research because she's constantly trying to understand the conspiracies of this world. She's a conspiracy theory cat after all. Ah, and I cannot wait until I'm able to like work with Moldy. 
Ah, see, this is Mulvey. We want to be able to work with him. We want to be able to expand for probably the garden room next, but getting those mews is going to be so hard. And you guys have told me that once we upgrade the den the first time, then more den expansions are available. Are you kidding me? Of course that would have Creek's curiosity like going off the charts. All right, let's see. And valerian, let's make a little pile of sweet smelling valerian. The stuff that we don't plan on keeping can kind of go down here. I wonder if you can just continue to give roses to like a cat that you have fallen for. And let's actually go ahead and we're just going to like eat this. Eat the, Did I eat it or did I put it away? Dang it. I wanted to eat, there we go, eat the rabbit so that we have a little bit of energy. And as much as I want to be able to give Savannah more gifts and give her like tons of this golden seal, I guess we need to save the golden seal if we need five pieces in order to be able to get the garden expansion really up and going. Let's see. Okay, this is also Marigold doing good. And I hear Neil really enjoys Valerian. Thank you guys so much for letting me know about that. And now with our pockets or whatever it is that Creek uses to store all of these items, uh, or fur clean, I suppose you could say, let's go ahead and get an early night's rest. And then in the morning, we're actually going to start exploring and adventuring up north with the creeks frozen and the beaches having a very little to uh, show us in terms of prey at this time and a few too many forest colony cats for comfort we're actually going to let creek go off and go explore the northern areas of the colonies which we really haven't done just yet we went as far as the prairie quarry but we haven't ever really gone much further north than that and surely 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 there's some fancy way that the mountain cat colony is managing to survive the winter. We haven't run into them nearly as much as we have run into the forest colony, so maybe they have some sort of secret prey supply of food that we might want to go and get our paws on. All right, let's say good morning to Slip because we almost never get a chance to talk to him. Greetings, kitten. Where are you off to? I always see you darting back and forth through Town Creek. What are you up to this time? And actually that comment about through town actually makes me think how fun would it be if you could work with Mulvey or even better if you could work with your colony leader and like upgrade your colony headquarters somehow. How cool would that be if you could like add extra thickets around it or something or if you could like add a prey pile that cats might randomly contribute to or if you could add like some sort of a uh, of sunny location that you could get a friendship boost for talking to cats who are like grooming in the sun with that would be so fun i like that idea or maybe you could add like actual fish that you could catch right here in the heart of the colony that would be really cool but all right an early snowy morning and we're ready to set off and start letting creek search and try to find some prey and we'll see if her hunting skill is high enough to be able to really start digging up prey or at least pouncing on it since her favorite prey of fish and frogs seem to be pretty scarce this winter and I also want to think about maybe saving her points and getting the study prey. I feel like having the study prey may really help me because I'm still learning the radius on a lot of these little critters. But to the north then. All right, let's see if we find anything. Oh, 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 oh man. And of course I find something and then immediately chase it away. <laughs> the frozen fields, footsteps through the frozen fields. Oh my goodness. We're getting into territory that's more mountain territory than ours. Hopefully we won't have a bunch of mountain cats just leap out and attack us just as we're starting to kind of sniff this area out. It doesn't seem like there's a lot here at this time of year. It's so interesting how empty it can- Oh, there's a mouse! It hasn't seen us just yet. Oh, dang it! For some reason the prey, like, the prey hunting icon wasn't showing up, but what about now? Come on. Oh, so close, come on, you've got it, yes, okay, that took a little bit of extra work, but we did manage to get the mouse, so there is some breakfast, which is really wonderful for Creek to get. Did that give us much experience? Uh, just a tiny bit, Oh man, it's gonna be a hard thing to be a wild cat, and a hard thing to figure out where we can find enough prey to see us through the winter. Next year, we should definitely try stocking up on some of it, uh, though of course, Possibly, do you get it? Possibly. Ah, dang it. Possibly having Creek learn how to find food in each of the different areas will really help her. 
being a little bit biased on uh, loving only to hunt fish definitely doesn't help you out during the winter when all of the creeks and streams are frozen. All right, let's see. At least we have a full belly. We're not starving, which, oh, guys, what the heck? Oh my gosh, it's another one. The footsteps through the frozen snows. Oh, and there's a bird. Okay, as cool as that mysterious thing is, I think Creek is beginning to learn. Mysterious stones will stay there, but yummy, yummy doves might fly off. All right, so we have found another mysterious stone wandering up to the north. So let's see what happens if we talk to it. A great treasure I carry. Are you worthy of it? Of course. I shall judge for myself. Answer my three riddles correctly, and I might bestow my treasure upon you. Who is the leader of the mountain domain? Um, Leo? That is correct. That was a lucky guess. During which of the following seasons do blueberries grow? Blueberries? Um, let's see. What did we have? I think we had something else to eat during the autumn. So summer. No! The totem has fallen silent. We have not been deemed worthy. Oh my gosh. Now Creek will have to come back here. I wonder if we can like try to befriend and, and, and learn a little bit. Because as defensive as Creek is of her new home and her new territory with the Mystic Colony, she is an extremely curious cat who is trying to unravel deep secrets of her lineage of the swimming cats, but also any other legend and any other old tale that has ever come to her. So I think that building up her reputation with the other clans so that we can try to get into the heart of each of the colonies, which you can do once you build up enough reputation with the clans, is a good idea as her way of explaining to the mystic colony that she's trying to be a legend researcher, a legend hunter. And so even though she, like there's, there's the acknowledgement that she'll have to participate in border disputes, then if she can get to the heart of the colony, then she has like a truce because she's a legend hunter and wants to collect legends from all of the colonies. That's a pretty big responsibility, Creek. It's exciting to see her evolve from this young lost kit into somebody who is turning into a cat that's beginning to understand her goal in life is going to be taking on the responsibility of being a legend hunter, a proper legend hunter. Ah, oh, for all of the colonies and all of the cats and all of the stories they might share to you. That is so exciting. <gasps> a blue jay! Oh my gosh, they're so rare. Oh my goodness, you guys. Oh my goodness. No! The only other blue jay we've ever had from that super, super rare blue jay was actually from, um... It was actually from, from, it was taken from us. It was taken from us from Forest Colony. We had that Forest Colony cat watch us hunt the Blue Jay and then he beat us up and took the Blue Jay and that was like our first near deadly battle. Do you guys remember? Oh my goodness, dang it. I was really hoping we would get that Blue Jay. That was so exciting, but I definitely think that would have Creek curious about what she can find up here around the Mountain Domains territory. Are we in the heart of it yet? Not just yet, not just yet, but we are kind of on the outskirts. Also, let's go ahead and see. I kind of feel like we should upgrade our hunting skill now and that may help us out. Um, what happens if you upgrade hunting? Used for finding, tracking, and killing prey. At higher levels, a hunter will become better at pouncing upon small creatures, focus on his or her meal faster, and unlock a scent compass to point out nearby prey. <gasps> Ooh, that sounds really cool. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade it. We're gonna upgrade it, even though I wish we could, we could save up to learn the prey radius, which would be really useful. I feel like we're just gonna have to try to learn the radius through trial and error. Ooh. And then upgrading the actual skill. Come on. Ah, dang it! Upgrading the actual skill still isn't gonna help if I'm not very good at this. Darn it, and the bunny got away. Creek, I am so sorry if you starve under my under my hands. No, and we, we jumped too soon. Oh no, and there's a mountain colony cat named Ginger. All right, maybe if we come down here, the mouse will, will decide to flee from Ginger. Come on, little mouse. Okay, the mountain colony cat didn't see us. We're gonna go this way. That was so interesting. Oh, look, there's a mouse. A mouse right here in mountain colony. Yes, all right, we got it. Ginger's distracted by something over there. So I'm gonna sneak. <gasps> what, there's another cat who's distracted with something down there. Okay, and look, look guys. Oh my gosh, we found a power paw. 
We just found a power pot hidden in a rock past two scouts next to the mountain colony. This is kind of amazing. I wonder if we should call it done and like hurry and run back down. I feel like we should definitely run back down home and we should have Creek leave this area, but I've never been here before. And we are up at Highland Lake, a lake. Oh, I think she would just let out like a happy cry of joy that echoes off of the mountains around her and through the mountain valley because Creek loves these lakes. She loves the ice and she'll be so happy to be able to come back here and try doing some hunting once the ice actually melts and the warm season arrives. So, all right, we should probably let her go ahead and teleport back home so that we don't get attacked. We'll say that she scurries back home. We have a another 120, woohoo! We have 120 health points now. So Creek is a little bit further away from the danger of death. And we did start exploring up around the mountain area. So I'm actually pretty intrigued by that. And hopefully her new ability of doing a little more hunting and her excitement to have explored in new spots will keep her busy all winter. We can continue exploring, trying out like different corners of the world. She's in love with the beach. She's in love with the creeks and the streams. But now that it's all frozen over, maybe we can start really learning more about the legends and lore of the land. So we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.